64, yes. Uh, we had a six cylinder. We had an eight cylinder. There's an engine sitting in this room, actually, an eight cylinder. <laughs> and we had a 12 cylinder. All Formula One, one and a half liters. None of them, except the 12, produced as much power as a as the Coventry Climax. You know, people have talked about for years about, you know, Ferrari power. But the main thing that I recall in my period at Ferrari is that in fact we got cars which were very drivable and could be driven very hard indeed and would hang together. But the main thing, apart from two occasions, was that we always lacked power. And that's something which uh, certainly the journalists uh, never latched on to. And certainly power characteristics, because what power we did have was always at the top of the power range. But the actual uh, 64 season, it started off typical, where no work had been done. And although we got the eight cylinder there, it wasn't producing the right amount of power and we had lots of troubles. Once Le Mans was over, it started to work. And of course, I was able to repeat my win at the Nürburgring. And then uh, win at Monza. And I was um, leading and should have won in Austria, but that um, the front suspension link broke there, one of the very few breakages. But, uh, and then we got to ending up the championship where we had this race in Mexico. The race started in that I could have either taken the 12 or the eight. The 12 by that stage was going considerably faster than the eight on occasions but we had two big problems, fuel consumption and oil consumption. The fuel consumption wasn't a problem for Mexico because of course with the altitude you could lean the mixture right up and so it wasn't a problem. And so it is, but we decided for safety's sake that um, I had to use the eight. And we started a race with it misfiring. Something which was probably due to them having leaned it up a little too much to try and get the optimum mixture and uh, power output. And for a couple laps or so, uh, it sort of didn't work. And by this stage, you had, I think, as Clark and Gurney and there was Bandini and Graham. Well, I picked up on Bandini and Graham, and they were having a great dice. And what I saw was that these two were dicing away, and the main place to pass was going into the banked hairpin. I honestly think that Graham made a mistake and left the door open and tried to close it too late, and that was it. But it was a natural enough mistake, considering that suddenly he had this other car appear, which in turn was me. And I was the one he was really racing against. He didn't have to race against Bandini. It was unfortunate, because frankly, I would much rather have passed him and, and got it, rather than have uh, things said. <laughs> 